Queen girl, I'm with Mary Queen Mandig. Mark Lewis. And we're on a Ferris wheel at Bumper Shoot. <laughs> now this is great. Well, here's the here's the deal. That's only going to happen. That is only going to happen one time in our careers, and that was That's between the fast. the first and second record. It did take a little while, and there were a lot of just label problems, everything problems. But uh, that came out last year in October, and we're going to release a two CD remix record of that whole record. Uh, that's been remixed. It's awesome. That's coming out this October, so that's one year, and then another release, and then in January we're releasing an EP of our uh, of all the stuff that we're recording for our third record, which hopefully will be released in the spring. So we're cutting out the time frame, and hopefully from now on we'll do a year between well, releases. EPs are just cooler, so we're gonna. <laughs> Well, also, the way music's being distributed nowadays, I think even, you know, the, the, the concept of the album has even changed at this, this point, awesome. you know? This is, this is the so. best interview I've ever done. More interviewers should do this. Take people on Ferris wheels. Okay. Back to the question. Okay. So, um... I think it has a lot to do with just the distribution of music as it is these days, you know. We can, if we can just put out now, release five songs that we love, we can continue our momentum and continue writing through the process and add more songs as we go along. We might, we might include a couple of the songs from the EP on any album, or, or more, or less. It doesn't really, we haven't decided yet. I think we just gotta keep releasing things in little batches. And we're right near the Space Needle right now, people. You? Hi. Tony, Tony's uh, uh, t officially my dog that we uh, I rescued like six years ago, and he's been adopted by the band, and he basically goes everywhere with us, and he'd be here right now in he this would. Ferris wheel if we actually d drove, but we flew. He's he's pretty good. Pretty yeah, cool. he's, yeah, he's cool. he's he's totally chill. Took him to the, chill? Took him to the dog whisperer. Dog Did you really? Yeah. yeah. He thought I was a professional tennis player, actually. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe that's why he gave me a deal. Why did you think you were... I, I don't know. I, just I think did. you were going through your headband phase. I, I had a... It was... You know, speaking of fashion, it was the headband it was phase. Yeah. Yeah, Borgish, McEnroe-ish yeah. kind of moment. Yeah. You know. It was Borg circa what? Did you make 70, it? 78, right. yeah. I guess being a female, I get asked to do a lot of editorial stuff. So I'm very lucky in that respect. I did a couple of... Uh, Shoots for Herb magazine, and um, I was on the cover of a college publication called Warning, and um, and I actually did a T-shirt campaign for. Wow, what what magazine was that? Do you guys remember? Wow, I don't know. You should cut that out. Cut that out. <laughs> I think living in LA, though, there's a you know we know a lot of. Just we know it's yeah. a good it's a good area to be in for fashion stuff and designers we know and plus I mean all the arts kind of collide at one Definitely. point from designers to fine artists to musicians especially in Los Angeles we all end up in the same place so then you have these built-in networks where you know anyone might ask us to do anything we might do music for a piece of art or for some short film who who knows yeah I mean it, oh sorry to interrupt you Mark I actually but, I just like taking a lot of pictures. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what, Mark? We're doing this thing for, for a filter where we're curating an art gallery right. in September, which is really, which is kind of cool. So things are, you know, things are colliding. It's that not necessarily good, something but. that I seek to do. It's just more of a, uh, it's it's fun. You know what I mean? It's a great hobby slash job slash opportunity to get my picture taken and. Mark, <laughs> Mark, Mark's doing a, a, a centerfold for a modern drummer. Yeah, nothing really happened with it, but just fans are like, why don't you come to our city? And that's basically the reason why it was like, we're just, it's just tough to, to tough to get past like San Fran and Tucson just for gas and everything. And, and also, um, like, uh, th uh, the amount of money that we might make at a particular show, which varies from venue to venue, is not ever accounting for the, you know, the 75% jump in gas prices that it takes to get to the shows. Right. So it ought... Uh, uh, basically, it just takes everything straight out of our. Do, it takes our food. Is it's what it difficult does. because even labels don't have money because of the, what happened to the music industry, so they can't support the touring. Uh, venues are just praying to God people show up, 
you know, <laughs> for whatever ticket price they're, they're going for. And it's, it, no one's really come up with a system to make it work well the way it used to. So I think that's the time we're in it's, it's just trying to figure it out. It's especially tougher for, for, for younger bands because, you know, we're, we're at that point, that juncture where, you know, your guarantees are such that you can, you're just sort of almost breaking even. You know, when, when you're bigger, you're not really having these worries. It's just a, an inconvenience. I think more of this. Yeah. yeah. More, 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 more interviews on Ferris wheels. Yeah, definitely. at festivals. <laughs> Festival Ferris wheel interviews is pretty much, you know. I think if we could That's on the top of regular, my list, If we could sure. make this a regular thing, yes. yeah, be, we'd all be happy. Put in your writer. Yeah. I will. <laughs> Done. 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 This is, this is great. This is awesome. <laughs>